Hey, it's Thunderhoss, and that is the Desert Obelisk. In this video, I'll be showing you the 20 hidden puzzles that are on the Desert Obelisk. First two are on the front of this building. One is a check mark to the right, and the other is a check mark to the left. Now for the next two puzzles, we're going to go on top of this building, looking down over where we were just standing. Now we're going to go to the right of that building. There's this little rock formation over here where we're going to find the next two puzzles. All you need to do is line up the glare. Now this formation is behind the first building that we were at along the beach. Just go up those steps and line up that circle. And follow it around for the next puzzle. Now we're going to go underneath where that puzzle was. We're going to look out over the beach to find the next puzzle. Now we're going to go down into the building from behind. This is the way you go to get to the desert laser. Now in this first room right here, we're going to look down into that little pool, into the reflection, and find that hidden puzzle right there. Now after we find that puzzle, we're going to walk around behind where we are at right now. And you see another reflection. It looks like it's the same reflection, but really it's not. It's, it's a totally different reflection. From that point, we're going to go deeper down into the building to this water area. Go around to the right. You'll see this green switch. You want to flip the switch down and then turn around. You'll see a circle start to form on the wall. Hit that circle and then follow this around. You'll have to take it slow. You need to wait for the water to go down. But eventually you'll be able to figure out this whole puzzle. Follow it all the way back to the left here. And now we're going to go down here to the elevator. Now, you need to have gotten the desert laser already. Now you can go under here and look up. That's the bottom where the laser is at. And you're going to find this next puzzle.
Okay, now we're over to where the boat dock is. And there's puzzle number one. Pretty simple. And this next puzzle is basically the same thing, but you just use the reflection off the water. And instead of going up, you're going to take it down. Okay, now that we're in the boat dock, you need to change that puzzle to make it look exactly like this. Now you're going to go back outside and we're going to need to go onto the roof. So follow this path around and we'll be able to get on the roof. Now we're going to go down here to the, the right and look through this hole in the roof. And if you hook up that yellow piece to the line, the yellow line, you'll find the next puzzle. Now we're up above where the boat dock is. You see over there, there's a sand area. We're right on the outskirts of the pink forest. And if you can see that, it looks like a snake in the sand. You can see the boat dock over there as a reference. And to the windmill. Now this one can be complicating, but it will also take a while to do it because you need to wait for the windmill to make its rotation. But you always start on the same spindle of the windmill. And the key is for this first one you just transfer over to the next spindle and there's puzzle number one. Now what you're going to do is go up that same first windmill. And this is going to take a little time but you're going to want to transfer over to that second spindle again. But instead of finishing that puzzle, you're going to need to wait and transfer over to the third spindle and follow that up to the top of that third spindle to complete the second puzzle. So the right side right there is a good transfer point. And we're going to jump over to this spindle. Now the problem is we have to wait and ride this all the way around to that left piece that that broken spindle just crossed over. We need to get to that piece. Okay, now we're coming up on the segment that we need to get on to. So we're going to get off this spindle to the left. And now that we're on this piece, we're going to try to line up exactly with the bottom line of that third spindle and hop on that spindle all the way up. There's the second puzzle. Now the third puzzle is the same idea. I'll tell you how to get to that and then if you want you can fast forward ahead because it's pretty boring to watch. But you're going to do the exact same thing but once you get to that broken spindle instead of getting on it you're going to go all the way down to the bottom of the left hand side 
and then you're gonna let that broken spindle pass and once it passes that will allow you to get onto the fourth spindle and when you get on the fourth spindle you follow it all the way up to the top and finish off the third and final windmill puzzle so I'm just gonna let this go until it finishes you can either watch it or fast forward if you understand what's going on. Okay, now we're going to hop off, and we need to let this next spindle pass. So we're going all the way down to the bottom. And since it's broken off, it will let us pass. So now go up to about halfway, so you can jump onto this next spindle and finish off the third windmill puzzle. Finally. Now we're going on to the boat. In this puzzle, this is where we had solved other puzzles earlier in this video. That segment of beach is where the beach puzzle was earlier. So you're going to get on the boat, wait till the glare gets over that circle, and just follow it all the way down. If you see that doorway on the right, that's the doorway that we came out onto to find the puzzle that was hidden on the beach earlier, just as a point of reference. So once you finish this off, you'll have all 20 of the hidden desert obelisk puzzles. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.